Yo, what is going on guys? Horcrux here. Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be going over Horcrux's top 5 PvP mechanics to help you get to the next level. This is what all the top tier players use, and even though they may seem super subtle, they actually have a huge impact on your gameplay. So let's get right into it. Okay guys, so coming in at tip number one is jumping. Yes, jumping actually plays a pivotal part in top players PvP experience because it allows you to maintain your momentum. Now this can be good and bad. Most of the time it's good. For example, if you're jumping and you get CC'd in the air, you carry that momentum and that little bit of distance that you travel can make all the difference. Now you can see here in these clips, anytime I'm weaving or trying to close the gap or just going back and forth or trying to create distance, I'm constantly jumping in the event that I get CC'd, I can carry that momentum. For example, again, if you get fossilized in the air, you're still gonna keep traveling. Now, it's also bad, for example, if you need to break free your roll dodge. If you try to jump, you get CC'd, well, you have to wait until you hit the ground in order to roll dodge. So it does have some caveats, but jumping is by far one of the best tools you can use in your kids. I mean, everyone can do it, especially if you're one of the speedy boy classes who are zooming around the map, you know, with the, the, the swift traits and the, 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 the mythic items. It's absolutely incredible and super underrated. I really hope you guys start throwing jumping into your rotations. It will take a little while to get used to. It will be very uncomfortable at first. But once you guys master the hop, you guys are going to go from here to here in no time. I'm telling you, it's such a subtle change, but it can mean all the difference. Okay guys, coming in at tip number two is medium attack weaving. Now what medium attack weaving is, it is a hybrid between your light attacks and your heavy attacks. The reason you will medium attack weave is the best example I can give you is that someone is off balance and you need to hit someone with a heavy attack in order to stun them. Now pay attention these are light attacks you know just by tapping the button or the trigger or whatever input that you're using but if you hold it down slightly longer it turns into two fireballs and the way the game registers this is actually a heavy attack. So if someone is off balance for whatever reason this will actually stun them whereas this light attack will not. So this is kind of a niche scenario where it will help you kind of get the jump on your opponent. I know for the DK, for example, you kind of need to be up in someone's face. So if you see the off balance stats effect on someone, you just kind of toss a little medium attack out, you know, super long range distance, 28 meters, whatever the, the reach is, and it'll actually stun them, allowing you to gap close. So this is a very kind of niche ability uh, to go over, but it does help in some cases. Okay guys, tip number three with medium attacks being out of the way. I'm sure if you guys are newer, you're like, you know, okay, what is this? What What is medium attack weaving? So tip number three, we're going to go back to the bare basics is light attack weaving. Now in between every single ability, you need to be light attacking. Doesn't matter if you're on your back bar, front bar, in the air, it does not matter. You need to be light attack weaving in between every single ability that you use. Say if you try to use a uh, curse right here and then use crushing shock, well, you could have used curse, light attack, crushing shock in the exact same amount of time. And your light attacks do add up, especially when you go to, uh, you start doing your, your damage per second, like your, your DPS parses if you're into PvE. Light attack is always at the very top, you know, like top three or four abilities that give you the most amount of damage in your DPS, especially in PvP. It's all about damage and you have a very small burst window sometimes, so you need to maximize the amount of damage that you can anytime you guys see me on stream i am always light attack weaving in between every little spell i use it's just so habitual you would never see me not light attacking or medium attack weaving in between every spell it's become a it's something second nature to me and i suggest you guys do the same if you want to get to the top tier okay guys so coming in tip number four is bard swap canceling or roll dodge canceling i'm going to show you here in this clip with the mines mines is a really long cast animation and Watch right here, boom, mines, roll dodge. Now, we actually abuse two mechanics here. I'll go ahead and pause this, jump back into ESO here. But the roll dodge cancel, so for example, if we use mines like right now, it does have a huge animation for it. If you're using abilities like Engulfing Flames has a terrible uh, cast animation, 
um, frag sometimes does um, it's very especially frags um, it's very telegraphed when it's coming and count what you're doing so when you roll dodge you're actually masking what you're doing so for example you saw right here that if I roll dodge you don't even see the cast animation for the mines this is a prime example of that it just looks like these are just kind of shooting out my asshole right so that is a really good habit to get into with abilities like that you kind of don't want to be telegraphed to your enemies what you're doing and also when you bar swap let me uh, kind of show you here real quick so let's take this uh this, this bone glide for example look how long it takes so if we go curse and then spam this okay you, you see about how long it takes so kind of do it again boom boom but if you curse bar swap you see how much faster that was so one more time so curse bar swap it may not seem much faster guys but that does shave off milliseconds between uh, your first ability and your next ability and sometimes can mean all the difference so essentially the way the swap works is the swap cancels the, your current animation of the ability that you're using so if you're using something with a longer cast time like mines for example you can immediately cancel that cast animation and have your mines up it's pretty incredible. I suggest you guys kind of get in the habit of doing this and not wait, waiting for your, your full animation to finish. It used to be back in the day, you used to be able to block cancel every single ability and get each ability off quicker, but they've since nerfed that, you know, for balancing reasons. But you can still bar swap cancel and roll dodge cancel uh, to, to kind of imitate the, the same effect. Okay guys, so coming in, tip number five, last but certainly not least is what I call phasing. Now, phasing is the most obnoxious, annoying mechanic in the game. So, when you're in Cyrodiil, your characters don't have any sustenance to them. And what I mean is, I can look at this guy and just completely phase right through him. So now I'm literally inside this guy, okay? And this is the most aggravating thing to deal with. If you have a super speedy boy stamina class and they're going in for their burst combo, like if they are dancing inside you like this guys it's so hard to target them and it's so hard to hit them like i cannot tell you how much mitigation this serves when you're kind of in someone's face and you're just dancing around them it it minimizes so much damage if they're not able to keep up with you especially us fellow console players or controller users it's so hard to keep up with people doing this i actually went into my user settings and changed my sensitivity in the game files just so i could keep up with people doing this notice i'm on controller i'm spinning this fast you can't do that on console i can make a separate video on that actually i have one on my channel i can put a link uh, somewhere in the uh, the video but yeah phasing is by far one of the most easily abused mechanics especially if someone's kind of new at the game you know kind of slow it's gonna be hard for them to target you if you master this man you're going to absolutely dig down anyone you come across i swear to god so yeah this has been horcrux a top five list on how to get to the next level i'm sure a lot of this is already known to you guys but i like to reiterate anyway now if you're kind of new to the channel please like and sub it really helps me uh, stay motivated it helps me it'll come out great content for you guys and let me know what you guys want to see in the channel in the comments i'm always looking for new content and like new things to do to kind of separate this channel from the rest of the channel when it comes to norm and the, the mundane so yeah if any of this is helpful you know please leave a like uh, if none of this was helpful leave a dislike either way it helps the channel so <laughs> all that being said guys thank you and have an amazing day peace